Rainbird got involved with the CLC Retrofit project as part of our 25 Ways campaign. And this site was an amazing opportunity for us to come together with some other partners and Community Lutheran Church to really transform their landscape. Like most small churches, we rely really heavily on volunteers. And everybody's really great about coming out and helping. However, the challenge is that we wound up with kind of a hodgepodge mess of a irrigation system. The result, of course, was overwatering, underwatering, didn't look very good, and the maintenance issues were a nightmare. I would see places where it was just soaking, you know, places where water was standing in the parking lot. It caused some issues with deterioration of the pavement. There were other places that the grass was uh, dying. We were excited when they approached us and said, hey, we want to look at our landscaping, we want to look at our water use. It is the, the prototypical 1980 installed landscape. It was functional, but could there be efficiencies? Absolutely. They historically have been using about a million to 1.2 million gallons of water a year. And by doing some simple things, replacing broken heads and fixing valves, replacing plant material with more water efficient native plants, and most importantly, upgrading the irrigation system, putting in smart control, using drip irrigation, putting in pressure regulating sprays and rotors, rotary nozzles, we think it'll save as much as 500,000 gallons of water a year, maybe more once everything gets established. A few of the goals we had were kind of renovating our campus to revitalize it, create a new look. We have a, a great preschool here, so we also wanted to enhance the learning experience that the students have by promoting butterfly and hummingbird habitats. We pulled out all the old plant material, we fixed leaks, we installed the new irrigation system. The tractor that was provided by Contact Power, it was essentially doubling, maybe even tripling the, the labor force that we have. We have an amazing palette of plants from ground covers all the way up to 24 inch box trees, like Palo Verde's uh, Desert Museum, which is a beautiful tree that flowers up to four to five times a year. Pink Parade, which is a pink flowering Hesperalo that sends up a pink flower spike to six feet. It's not all rocks and cacti anymore when the water needs to be reduced. The type of grass that we put in is basically a Bermuda base that's overseeded. Turf has a lot of advantages to it, especially if you're going with the drought tolerant type varieties. Grass is something that cools the environment down, it creates oxygen. By doing wise management of water and putting in the right type of turf, maybe downsizing a little bit, you can pretty much have your cake and eat it too. All of the mulch that was used here is from recycled wood products. It also is going to help the landscape in many ways, not only keeping the moisture in and the heat out, keeping the roots cooler, keeping weeds down, and aesthetically it looks amazing. There's some unique challenges on the site. Uh, one of them in particular was changing the plant material and the irrigation in some parking lot medians, and it's really tough to get new water out there. So by using Rainbird's Spray to Drip Retrofit Kit, we were able to take advantage of the existing pipe. They were operating their irrigation system with two different controllers. So we consolidated it to one controller, and that makes all the difference in the world as far as programming, monitoring, and maintenance. It just makes things so much easier. We were able to upgrade the technology quite a bit by using the ESP LXME series controllers, and we've also tied in IQ. Now the user can use their smartphone and it could be basically anywhere in the world. I can't even count the number of people who've had a hand in this project. That's been one of the beautiful things, just seeing how people just step up when they see something that they want to get involved in and help out in any way. Just seeing everybody working so well as a team. Part of this garden too is to reflect what it is to be good stewards of the land and manage our resources wisely. One of the things I'm really looking forward to is next year and then the year after and watch how this garden grows and really lives and breathes. It's going to be very exciting.